So we know that climate change is, is causing the planet as a whole to warm up. The focus of a lot of the questions and a lot of the research now is about understanding what does that mean for particular regions of the planet. What does it mean for Europe? What does it mean for Africa? What does it mean for Southeast Asia? Britain's climate has also warmed, but of course, as we all know, uh, Britain has a very variable climate. There's a prediction of an increased frequency of heavy rainfall events, which turns out to be a fairly direct consequence of having a warmer atmosphere that contains more water. The circulation of the Atlantic Ocean is an important influence on our weather, and there is the possibility that it could undergo significant changes. Not the kind of end-of-the-world stuff that was in the Day After Tomorrow film, but nevertheless significant shifts that could, for example, lead to a decade or two of cooling in the UK, even while the rest of the planet is warming. Climate science has made a huge amount of progress in the last 10 to 20 years. Our ability to, to simulate the real climate system on computers has advanced hugely, and also our ability to observe how multiple aspects of the Earth are changing. Um, observations from, from satellites from space are absolutely crucial in that regard. How climate change unfolds in particular regions is a key issue for adaptation, but turns out to be a lot more complicated scientifically than understanding how the planet as a whole is warming up. And that's the focus of a lot of our research, understanding what's going to happen in particular regions and what is happening already.